Hello everyone. As you know, my name is Lori Anderson and I want to thank you so much each to each and every one of my subscribers, each and every one of my followers. You're very important to me and you are very much appreciated. From the ones that leave comments for for me or correspond with me in that manner, um, showing concern for the channel and um, showing concern for me myself I want to say thank you I also want to say thank you for being faithful subscribers even though I have been unable to upload YouTube's for quite a while I am beginning to be able to start uploading now I do not have um, a ton of equipment to be able to do things with and that has prevented me from being able to upload as much as I would like to like I used to however um, part of that problem is fixed so I am going to be uploading quite a bit more YouTubes um, quite frequently hopefully to get you ca caught up on some topics and some shows that I have already done um, on the Resurrect the Republic RTR Truth Media Reloaded live radio shows uh, some of these topics are extremely important. They cover, of course, uh, what I posted last night was about the ADT or active denial technology, smart meter uh, issues, as well, signs and symptoms, as well as the Tyler Whitman case. Now, if you haven't heard of the Tyler Whitman case, you owe it to yourself to find out about the Tyler Whitman case. He is a Navy veteran, and um, he is being force medicated with Seroquel. Seroquel, one one of the amazing things to me is um, he is being forced to take a medication that the Department of Justice, 37 different states, as well as over 28,000 individuals sued AstraZeneca over Seroquel. What they failed to do is they failed to list a sign of symptoms and really bad issues, health issues that was caused by Seroquel itself. They hid that fact from the American people. So they got sued by the Department of Justice to 37 states, as well as over 28,000 peoples. Almost all of those lawsuits have now been settled. Now, the side effects from the Seroquel itself that they hid, pneumonia, diabetes, death, on and on. Why would you give somebody, force give somebody, trying to use a, a court order to justify it, why would you force one of our veterans, or anybody for that matter, to take Seroquel when they have been exposed and the medicine is extremely dangerous? So if you don't know about the the Tyler Wintman case, please, please make sure that you find out about that. Click on those links. I will also be uploading some more videos to my YouTube that is covering Tyler Wintman's case as well because I've covered it on many different occasions on the live radio show. I also want to let you know that I'm going to be making an upcoming video with links for proof there on a um, drill that is getting ready to come out in May. It is from the Department of Defense and it is about the electric grid going down. So I wanted to specifically do a video on that. I wanted to provide you the proof and I wanted you to be able to research it for yourself. I for one am really tired of individuals that uh, try to play the political correctness role. Um, you're not responsible you're not responsible for my emotions. I am. That is my responsibility. Just like I am not responsible for your emotions. That is your responsibility. Quit getting so easily offended, ladies. Um, and uh, gentlemen as well. You know, either you have the facts or you don't. Don't try to use, um, oh, you've offended me as a scapegoat for getting truth out there. I, for one, am sick and tired of these individuals that keep calling on Congress to do something because they're offended. How about this? Get out of our business. I believe that you are smart enough to think for yourself. I believe you're smart enough to know what you need to do for your family. I believe that you are smart enough to, to be able to take care of your family, your children, your communities without the government trying to tell you what to do. 
Now, when I say government in that aspect, I'm not actually really talking about the real government because we're talking about politicians. We're talking about party. You know, I don't care if it's Republican or Democrat or independent. If it's right, it's right. If it's wrong, it's wrong. And I'm going to call it out. I don't care who likes it or who doesn't because the Lord Jesus Christ is the one who leads me to do what I am doing. I'm not here to judge. I'm here to lay out facts. I'm here to help educate. And I always give source links for that. So I want to say this. Anyone who has the idea or wants to call out and say that the government must control this because that's an excuse. That's saying that you believe that the American people are children. You believe that we don't have the ability to take care of ourselves. Why in the world would you scream for government to fix a problem when they can't even balance a budget? Why would you scream for government to fix a problem when they will not even arrest individuals who have intentionally intentionally put our entire country at risk by leaking classified or top secret information why would you trust anyone in that type of forum when they will sit there and they will expose all that is going on in the federal government and then nobody gets arrested. It is a dog and pony show. I firmly believe that if we would actually quit worrying about focusing on Washington and start focusing on our local communities and start focusing on our sheriffs, then we wouldn't have any need to worry about what Washington is doing. I don't need the EPA to tell me that if there's a bunch of trash in my neighborhood, it needs to be picked up. People shouldn't have to be paid for that. Pick it up. Take it upon yourself and pick it up. Now, I'm not talking about disabled individuals, or I'm not talking about individuals that, that don't have the ability. It takes five seconds to pick up a piece of trash. You can be the difference in your community. I'm not saying you have to pick up every bit of it, but every bit you pick up and every bit you put out into the trash can, guess what? That's less that makes your community look bad. Care about yourself enough to care about your community. It doesn't cost a thing. Just a little bit of time. And as far as these individuals who are screaming, oh, the government must pass gun control, and oh, I'm going to go there, because one of my followers, subscribers, sent me a video, and I'm pretty ticked about it. Don't you dare, as a child, try to tell me, as an adult, that I don't have the right to defend my own children because it hurts your emotional little feeling. Most of you individuals know who I'm talking about and I really don't care. The ultimate women's right, if you are for gun control and you are for disarming the American people, you're, pro, you're racist first of all because of the simple fact the Jim Crow laws, that's what started all of this junk and it was to disarm black Americans. Second of all, these women's right people, they're going to be sitting there screaming, you don't think it's the ultimate women's right for me to protect myself, my children, my grandchildren, and my community? You've got me stuck. And then you want to talk about something constitutional, and then an individual, which I'm going to leave nameless at this point, made the comment, take the guns first and then due process? Oh, I don't think so. Individuals were elected this year or, or in the last 
election, for the presidential election, that election was had, and you won by a firestorm, President Trump. And you know why you did? Because you were standing for the constitutional principles. Please listen. Be careful. Do not be tricked or fooled or manipulated into going along with what we've been fighting all this time. Because I can assure you, if you do, you will destroy your base. They will not support you if you attack the Constitution. The people are done with people who talk out of both sides of their mouth. The people are done with the hypocrites. The people are done with the individuals who are calling for gun control, which is ironic because that's an oxymoron in and of itself. But the people who are calling for gun control have bodyguards. So let me give you this challenge. You want your gun control, Nancy Pelosi, or you want your gun control, Miss Feinstein, or any other daggone politician that wants their gun control? Come with me where I live. No bodyguards. No protection. Walk my neighborhood with me and let's see how you feel. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I have the unalienable right from my first breath to defend my life. Not any employee has the right to tell me that I have to give up that right because of your daggone opinion. And I would greatly appreciate the members of Congress that are screaming for gun control. Would you kindly learn what the heck you're talking about? Please? These are not automatic weapons. These are semi-automatic. You don't know what you're talking about, and you're making yourselves look like complete and utter fools. There's no such thing as a ghost gun. They are not clips. They are magazines. AR-15 does not stand for an assault rifle. It stands for Armalite. It has smaller bullets than a .30-06 rifle. Bolt action, which is not on your little agenda. Okay? So if I put a Corvette bumper on a Chevette, it doesn't make it a Corvette. Get it? Just because it's black and it looks like a military-style weapon doesn't make it one. The people of America are so done with your lies, your corruption, and your brainwashing, especially of our children, and then pushing this into the school agenda? We're done. Even our children are sick of it. Quit with your propaganda and bull. The Department of Education should be abolished in the first place because it's an unconstitutional agency. So should the EPA, the, the DHS, do tell me, how much have they protected this country? Oh, we must have them because of national security. Really? Because every daggone attack, they have not stopped. And they surely haven't stopped the millions coming across that border illegally. So do tell me, what in the world we're paying the Department of Homeland Security for other than to target American citizens because they sure aren't targeting criminals. They're not even taking warnings from Russia when it came to the Boston bombers. Don't tell me y'all are 
Intelligence? Are you kidding me? You're claiming your intelligence? We pay you millions and billions of dollars and then you take your intelligence off of a Twitter video for an excuse to bomb a sovereign nation. That's a joke. And it's a bad joke because it's a joke that can lead us to war. And I don't care if it was President Obama or President Trump. Wrong is wrong. Get our men out of Syria. People are screaming here in the United States of America, including you, Mr. Trump, that put a wall, build a wall, build a wall. We have the right to protect our sovereign nation. Build a wall. Criminal illegal aliens. Exactly right. So let me ask you a question. If you say we have a right to build our wall and protect our borders, which we do, and you say that anyone who crosses that border without permission is here illegally, which they are, explain to me how the United States military that you've sent over to Syria without permission of that government aren't illegal invaders and illegal aliens themselves. Explain that to me, because you can't have it both ways. It's hypocritical, it's a lie, it's a scam. Get our guys out of Syria. Quit bombing. Quit going along with the Rothschild bankers. And surely, for God's sakes, quit going and claiming intelligence proving chemical attacks over a daggone YouTube. Over a YouTube, by the way, that was placed on Twitter and can be easily proven these white helmets work with the terrorist. And you know, because you've spoke out about it before during the Obama administration, you know that at one point we were arming, training, funding, and helping the terrorists to try to overthrow Syria, which is a CIA faction that was sent in. And these people who were the Arab Spring, these people who went into Syria, who are terrorizing the Syrian people, they're not Syrians. We, the people, not me, myself, but we the people voted you, President Trump, in office because we thought you had some common sense. Benghazi was all about a CIA annex of where they were arming the militants to send their butts through Turkey into Syria to overthrow a lawful president. Y'all keep on touting all this mess. You're keeping up with the propaganda, and you're going to destroy our union. You are not ten foot tall and bulletproof. None of us are. Stop. You're supposed to be the great hope. How about be that difference? Don't just speak it. Do it. And I know there's a lot of good that you've done. And I appreciate that. But you know what? That is not going to matter at all if we end up in a war and there's bombs everywhere. Because all that paperwork and all that effort and everything that you've done to try to roll back the policies that have attacked our people for so long isn't going to matter. Because it's going to be destroyed. Stand up, stand tall, and tell the deep state to stick it. Do not allow yourself to be the puppet of the deep state.
get out of Syria. That simple. Do not tell me and give me the excuse that we had the right to bomb over alleged chemical weapons that was never found, disproven, by the way. That, oh, because American people are over there, we've got a right to do that? Like hell? The American people don't even have the right to be there. They weren't invited. They weren't given permission. They're invaders. They're no different than the criminals that come across our border illegally without permission. You can't have it both ways. So on that note, that's my rant for today. I'll be back on the radio show tonight. Resurrect the Republic RTR Truth Radio Broadcast. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Re Republic Broadcast Network. Hope to see you there. And thank you so much to all my subscribers and my supporters for continuing to be faithful and following me even when for a very long time I've been unable to upload. God bless you. And as always, watch your backs, check your facts. Semper Fidelis. And good night.